Hi. Um, so now we studied the concept of functions. So now I want to start uh, discussing uh, the various examples for the functions. So the first example, simplest and most important, the example of function is called linear functions. Yeah. Um, it is called linear because it turns out the graph of this function is a straight line. So that's where this name linear comes from. Um, and now uh, let me start from uh, the practical example of this linear function. Um, let's look at the, the price for the rental video store. Okay? So for example, uh, let's say you have to pay $2 okay, to rent uh, each video. Okay? So $2 per video here. Then, uh, this situation, so now uh, we can consider the number of video as an input and then the price you pay to be your output. So, x is So let x to be the number of videos you ran and then y uh, this is the price here. Okay. Yeah. Then the, the unit of this is just dollars here. Okay. So in this case, uh, let's start from, uh, remember the rule of four? Let's start from the first one, which is just a table. Yeah. Okay. So what is the correspondence between x and y? So suppose you just uh, rent nothing here. No video. Of course, you don't pay anything here. Okay. It's just zero. So Suppose you just rent only one video, so then how much do you pay? Just two dollars. Okay? So now, so you start renting more, so two videos, so you need to pay another two dollars, so which is, so together, so you have to pay four dollars. Then you rent three videos, then six, four, eight, and so on. Right? So now from this, can you now guess can you get the formula for this function? So what's the correspondence? So if you look at this, so y is obtained by 2 times x. Okay? So this is the formula. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, especially for the practical application, it's very important to look at the unit. Okay? So the unit of 2, so this is uh, the data per video. So the unit of two is dollar per video. Okay. And then the unit of x is this number of video. So this is video. Okay. And then uh, not only just the value, so the unit has to units have to agree. Okay. So now the unit for y is dollar. Okay. So that this much. See, the unit for the video is cancelled out, so you exactly get the dollars equal to dollar here, okay? So, so you can also check the units are equal. Okay, so this is a very simple situation. And then, in particular, for the, this situation, we say y is proportional okay, to x. Okay. The general form for the proportionality is just y equals to k times x. And then this k is called constant of proportionality. Okay. 